Hey everybody, I'm Sean. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody on today's episode. It's part three of my Cast Clash Challenge Day 3. I am out catching pike in a competition with nine other YouTubers. And for my team, I was asked to go out and catch pike and walleye. I have not had a lot of success on the walleye, but I have had some great success today on the pike. And in fact, that's why this is a part three video. Hopefully you've already seen part one and two. Uh, up until then, I've already caught 10 fish. I'm continuing on today out on the lake and seeing if I can get even more than that. So with that, let's get right to it. All right, everybody. So it slowed down a little bit on that other uh, perch catch them big uh, walleye series lure. So I'm actually going to switch to another one. This one with a much broader bill. This is called the Deep Diver from uh, Catch em Big Lures. And uh, again, rattle in there. Um, this one's going to go a little bit, well, probably the same depth if I don't troll it too fast, but uh, just a little bit different pattern. I'm going to give this one a try. So let's see what happens with this one. Also, uh, floats until you start moving. We got one. Fish number 11, if I can land it, hit hard too. So maybe it's a little bit of a bigger one. Got some good, good pull to it. Oh yeah, that's a better one than I've been catching lately. Most of them up to this point have been the tiny ones, so yeah, that's a better one. Nice, there it is. Catch number 11, beautiful. That is a nice fish right there, heavy. Um, all of the weight of that fish is on my hand right now. I'm just using it to stabilize the mouth because I do not want that thing to bite me. The teeth in there are massive and they would shred me to pieces. Um, so that's why we use fish grips in the summertime. We don't use them in winter. If you watch our ice fishing, you'll see we don't. We grab them under the gills, which I can do as you can see, but it's very difficult to control the fish that way when I'm filming for YouTube and trying to take measurements, measurements in particular. So that's why we use fish grips. I know they're controversial, but you will not hurt the fish if you use them properly. That fish is 31 inches. So my fourth fish over 30 today. What a beast, beautiful fish. I am going to try to do an underwater release on this one. All right, there it is, you guys. That is fish number 12. I lost six or seven fish before I finally caught this thing. Oh, it was getting frustrating. And gone. All right. I think that took me like two hours to catch a fish because I lost so many. All right, you guys, I got another one. In the shallow, shallow water here. Nice jump. That is number 13 right there. All right, you guys, there it is, little tiny guy, but number 13. Let's do a release here in this shallow water. And there it goes. All right, we got another one. Scrapper. Feels small. Oh, it's in the weeds. But that's number 14. These smaller ones, I'm trying to not use the net or the grips today. And there it goes. All right, I got another one. Man, do they scrap today. Head shakes. You guys can probably see the sun's getting a little bit further along in the sky here, late in the day. But uh, fishing's still good. And well, hasn't landed it yet. There we go, number 15 for the day. And he's gone. All right, 15. 
<laughs> All right, you guys, so the strategy tip for today, uh, <laughs> today, it's still the same day, but for this episode is uh, sometimes you gotta stick with a plan. You know, I lost so many fish on that Catch em Big Walleye Rattler series crankbait that I decided to change it up because it was frustrating me so much. I lost so many fish. I lost six or seven fish in a row on that thing. Uh, they just weren't hitting it right or I wasn't uh, setting the hook properly. I don't know what it was, but I was struggling with that lure and I changed it up. And that's when everything kind of went downhill. I stopped catching fish. I did catch a couple, but um, really the bite died down and so I went back to the catch em big lure that was working, the pattern that was working, the color that was working, and lo and behold, right away, we're back with four catches in a row. And uh, yes, I've lost a couple more, but I should have stuck it out. I should have had the patience and I just didn't. And so today's lesson, you gotta remember once in a while to have patience and stick with what's working. And, uh, It'll pay off for you in the end. So that's today's tip. Now, let's see if we can get some more. Number 16. I found a stretch of water here that I don't think was fish much today. I decided to do a little bit of trolling on it. And uh, that's how I'm tying into these fish. Another smaller one, but I'll take it. And there it is, number 16. It's only hooked in one spot. And there it goes. All right, you guys, we're killing it right now. This is number 17. If I can land it. Unbelievable fishing right now. We're in prime time. So it kind of slowed down in the afternoon. We hit prime time, and uh, man, it's just fish after fish again, which is great. And there is number 17 for the day. Can you believe this fishing, you guys? I'm gonna do the release on this one right here. It's hooked in a couple different places. Oh, they sure are splashing me today. And two out. And splashes me goodbye for a little bit of good luck. All right, you guys, making my way back. Number 18. Nice, solid hit. Nice run. And there we go, a little bit bigger. The last couple, not much, but lively today. Man, these fish. And there we go. And gone. Guys, there's my van, right there. And if you'd have told me that in part three, I'd have caught almost as many fish as I caught in part one and two, I'd have said you were crazy, but if I land it, this is number 19. And there it is. All right, you guys, there it is. Number 19, tiny one. All right, everybody, that's gonna do it. I'm bagged. It has been a long day of fishing, but an absolutely excellent day of fishing. I finish day three of the Cast Clash Challenge and part three of this episode with a total of 19 fish for the day, which is pretty awesome. I did have to, I have to admit, I took one spin of the bay here to see if I could get that 20th. Couldn't do it, but uh, I'm too tired to go after it. But anytime I get 19 pike in a day, I am happy, especially in Southern Alberta. So awesome day of fishing, but it is gonna be tough to top that in the near future. Also got way back in part one, that beautiful 36 inch pike that was uh, close to 10 pounds and four fish on today's trip that were over 30 inches. So 
absolutely unreal. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys enjoyed the Cast Clash Challenge, and I hope you check out some of the other channels who are participating. So, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for joining me, as always. And if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. And until next time, good fishing.